Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna be trying out more makeup. <laughs> we've got so much makeup to go through. If you've seen my previous hauls, you know we've got lots of new stuff. Um, I actually had a few more items from my Ulta order come in that didn't come in in time for the drugstore haul. So we've got like these Physicians Formula bronzers, which I'm excited about because I couldn't figure out what color to get. Like this one's definitely darker, but online on Ulta, you could not tell. So I was like, I'll get both. Let you guys know which one's darker, lighter, you know, so. That way you don't have a hard time like I did. I also have some new Givenchy foundations. Um, I have the Fenty here. I have a new concealer, blush. I wanna try this out underneath foundation. We'll, we'll see how it goes. And then today I figured I would go into the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. We're kinda going with something maybe most of you have and I thought that would be great just to incorporate like, you know, a palette that we all probably have in our collection. If not, you might have something similar. I love her Volume 1, but I haven't really dove into the Volume 2 a lot, but since spring, summer's coming, I figured we could figure something out. That's what we're gonna be trying out today. I hope you guys are excited. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that post notification bell so you're notified every time I upload, which my goal is two videos a week at least, maybe even more. I've been doing more as of recently, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But so far, two videos a week for sure. You'll have something and let me know down below if you enjoyed the video. And let's go ahead and hop on into it. My skin is looking very glowy recently. So I incorporated a couple new products to my skincare routine, which I use. I'll do little pictures here so you can see. So first step for my morning routine is the Elemis Resurfacing Facial Pads. I love those. I use them day and night. I don't use any other face exfoliator. It's literally all I use and it has been great for my skin. It makes me very glowy. My skin is super, super soft like incredibly soft I feel like it's definitely helped with the texture of my skin it's been so good second step I just incorporated this so I don't have like a full-on review for you because I bought it on vitamin C day but I have the skin ceuticals vitamin C serum everybody recommends it I'm, I think I'm just really late on the vitamin C train I think I just didn't really pay attention but I started incorporating that now so like first step into my routine after my Elemis pads and I feel like when I use the exfoliating pads the serum really sinks into my skin so been loving it so far but of course I think it just takes some time to like see how everything works together after that I go in with my belief moisturizing eye balm love this stuff it is seriously so good and then I use my daily greens by pharmacy the oil-free gel moisturizer and that's my skincare routine right now for the morning. For nighttime, it's pretty simple. It's just removing my makeup with some pharmacy products, a makeup remover, usually the Fresh Soy Face Wash. And then I'll use the Elemis Pads. I just started incorporating the Summer Fridays Serum, that really hydrating serum. And then I'll use the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Cream, I think is what it's called. I do have that other pharmacy night mask product. I've only used it once, so I'll keep you guys updated, but I'll kind of go between the Fresh and then the pharmacy one moving forward. So so that's my skincare routine. I really like the way my skin looks recently, even though, I mean, obviously I have rosacea, but my skin has been very soft. It's also been really glowy and I've been loving that. So, okay. Also, this is from Rosie Days. If you don't know, I have a boutique called Rosie Days. Go check it out. Feel free to shop on it. We love it. If you want to shop, I'll leave an exclusive code down below for your, my YouTube viewers. So, okay. So today we're just going to hop on into it. Actually, we'll start with eyes first. So I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in Light. But I'm going to apply this real quick. This one's really good, it has a tint to it. And if you have oily eyelids like I do, this works really well. So I'm going to just apply that and let that sit for a second. And then I'm actually going to apply this Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. In my last video that should be up before this one, I tried the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow. Oh my goodness. I need this in like the pink color. I love the formula of this. It is so glossy. It's like a plumping situation. I don't really care about the plumping part. I just love the gloss. It is so gorgeous. So if that comes back in stock, because I was trying to get another shade before it sold out and I wasn't quick enough. But anyhow, I'm going to take this Laneige one, put this on while we do our makeup. Like I said, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe Volume 2. Can you get these still? I don't even know. If so, I'll leave them down below. I love the Volume 1, but I'm going to dive into Volume 2. Do I know what I'm doing? No. First one I'm going to take is Certified, and I'm actually going to set my entire lid with this. So we can set that primer. All right, we're going to blend this out. Just set that in place. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with Perfectionist. This is Perfectionist. I'm going to go in and put that in my crease just as a transition color. 
I have absolutely no idea where I'm going with this, so let's hope for the best. I don't know if I'm doing something dramatic. I don't know if I'm doing something light. I'm so interested to hear what palettes you guys are loving right now. I feel like, I, I think I mentioned this in my Sephora haul, I believe, but I haven't really bought new eyeshadow palettes. Like I feel good about what I have, and I just, I don't know, I don't do eyeshadow so much to where I feel like I need to buy every single eyeshadow palette, but let me know your thoughts. What are some of your favorite eyeshadow palettes? I'm just gonna very lightly blend these edges. So we're going pretty high up with this for our transition shape. So I'm gonna go in with G Money right here, and we're gonna take this in the crease, but not as high, and just deepen it up a bit. G Money is really pretty. So we're gonna take this in the crease and just really blend that out and kind of wing it out right here. And since we don't have foundation on, you can really get crazy with this and really wing it out. And then when you go in with foundation, concealer, you can clean it up. I'm just going to kind of build and play with this. Do what I can. We'll kind of touch things up as we go. It's all about adding and taking away. Adding, taking away. I used to love doing makeup like this because I could just really go in and not care. And then we'd clean it up and it would be fine. So taking just a clean brush now and really blending these edges. I'm gonna go back in with the first shade we used and just touch this up. I'm gonna use one size here. Okay, we're gonna first carve out the lid with concealer. I'm using the MAC 242S. Love this brush, the actual best. And we're just going to carve it out. We're gonna go a little bit above the crease and we're going all the way from inner to outer corner all the way in there. You can do this with like a MAC paint pot if you wanted to. I always find concealer works best for me. So I usually just go with a full coverage concealer to really blend it out. And you wanna use one that works really well for you. Like I know this is not a super dewy concealer. So I always would use something like this instead of like a luminous one because luminous could crease your eyeshadow and you don't want that. So use whatever works for you. I'm going to carve that out just a little bit more. All right, but we're going in with no joke. This is no joke, we are going in with it. And we're gonna follow that concealer. Make sure we really carve it out. Okay, I'm gonna take a clean pencil brush. This is actually a Dior 22. This is nice, cause it's like a thicker kind of pencil brush. And I'm just gonna go in right in that crease and blend that out. I feel like the yellow's a tad bit choppy. All right, I'm gonna take my finger real quick. And you can kind of see the color. You know, what would really make this pop is if I had some sort of yellow base. So if you have that, definitely do that. Ooh, but finger, finger is looking like the way to go, but I do have a lot of fallout. So if you are doing your foundation first, just keep that in mind. Okay, back to that small pencil again. I really want to make sure I blend as much as possible. But I do recommend some sort of like colored base. I think that would really make it pop. I love a good carved out lid too. It really just makes everything pop and cleans it up again. It's kind of like cleaning up the outer edge, but instead all over the lid. So good. I really like to try to make the line in the crease as smooth as possible. I don't want it to look really choppy. Then it's good. You could just kind of drag it down because again, you're going to clean that up. Going back in with the yellow. I wonder how much yellow I'm gonna find here after this tutorial. The only thing with this yellow is like once it hits like a wet item, like the concealer, it starts to darken and I want it to be bright. And I feel like you could set the concealer, but I feel like that takes away from the yellow. You know what I mean? Cause usually colors will just pop on the concealer cause it's not like a crazy color. It's like a really good light base. Okay, I'm gonna go with my finger now. We're just going to pop that on. I have Fallout Central on my face right now, so do not do this with makeup on. One thing I do want to be careful of is like not over blending. Let's just go ahead and clean up the edge and see what that looks like. Help us decide like what we're gonna do. Okay, that eye turned out better. This eye turned out like a joke. Drag that down a little bit because it needs to be dragged down just a bit. This is probably gonna be what I use for my bottom lash line or this. Should I just top it with this? You know what, we're gonna do it. This is uh, Talia. I'm just gonna take a brush first. I, I forget how these work, if they work really well, the brush. The answer to that is no. So we're just gonna take our finger, pop it on top. I'll tell you right now, I like that better than I do the 
matte yellow on its own. And I can only imagine how hard it is to create a yellow because I feel like it's like the same with purples and reds and stuff, you know? They're hard colors. I don't really see a lot of yellows either. I usually see like mustards, but not like a yellow yellow. We're stopping there. I do think the glitter was a beneficial thing. And I think when we do lashes, foundation will come together. We will, we will look put together. We can't forget the bottom lash line. It'll work. We'll make it happen. I'm going to be taking the one size secure the blur primer. So we're going to apply this to our face. Everything is nice and smooth because the skincare is just doing it for me. So the foundation we are using today is new. This is the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring Matte Foundation. And now I do want to say I tried out the Givenchy Tint Couture Everywhere 24 Hour Satin Finish Foundation the other week. It was incredibly expired. I did try it out anyways because <laughs> I had never used it and it was so good. So I bought a new one um, that's not expired. I would use this today, but I really want to try this one because I believe this is like the newest one and it's a matte version. So it says it's a 24 hour matte finish. 24 hour wear, 24 hour correction. Ooh, 24 hour blurring effect. So we're gonna dive into it. This is a Sephora sale purchase. This is what the bottles look like. I always get multiple shades and things to kind of mix and match. This one's W355, if I'm correct. There's that. That looks pretty good. It does look dark, so we have a lighter color here in W310. I think I'm gonna be more W310 with a splash of the other color. So that's what we're gonna try. I'm gonna take a brush to apply. We'll use the Morphe M6 right here. Great brush. And we're just gonna dive right in. We're gonna see what we can come up with. This is looking really good so far. And I like the color, but I have a feeling it's gonna get darker, so I'm gonna have to take this down my neck for sure. It's a pleasant scent. It's like a, I don't wanna say floral. I I can't, I don't know what the scent, it just smells good. It smells clean, but fresh, but not like cleaning, laundry cleaning. Does that make sense? This is like a fresh self tan color and I'm not there. So we'll just drag it down the neck. But so far it does have really good coverage and it seems to be blurring and we are going to apply concealer so that should help us so we're gonna fake it till we make it today so i would say i would just stick with 4310 i added like a half a pump of w335 and it definitely is dark like darker than i was expecting so just keep that in mind i'm gonna take a little bit of the lighter color and just touch up this area and then concealer will help too so far so good i think that looks really nice over i have very large pores and texture obviously you guys saw all my redness and of course if you're new we match to the body not the face all right so that's what it looks like and luckily this isn't like a orange shade or anything like that so i think we'll be okay but i think it looks good it's definitely matte but i don't know if it's my skincare that's giving me that subtle glow or if it's the foundation it does look decent i like it so far first impression looks good this is the boing bright on concealer in the shade melon this is from benefit looks like a little eraser we're just gonna apply and we're gonna apply a generous amount in a triangle motion because I want to lighten this up just a bit. <laughs> All right, this is looking a little sheer based on first impressions, if I'm being honest, like just applying it. So we'll take our brush and we'll press it into the skin. It's definitely brightening. It's actually pretty with the foundation, but I need more coverage in the inner corner for sure. But I like the brightness of it. Like it looks very pretty, but I'll be completely honest. I never go towards or like gravitate towards brightening under eye products. I normally just get a concealer that's a little bit lighter and it'll automatically brighten it anyways. I don't look to spend more money on like something that's going to specifically brighten if that makes sense. I mean it definitely like brought the light to the face and it doesn't look cakey but I'm going to need a like concealer concealer to really bring it in. going to take this Anastasia one. I have not used this in a minute so we're just going to take this. It's the Magic Touch Concealer. We're going to apply it right in here. Conceal the dark circle. I know I've tried this before. I don't think it was on camera, but I didn't love it. But I don't remember why. Like so far, it looks pretty good. And I'm just trying to press it in to really focus it on those dark circles. And then we'll take it back to, to highlight. We're going to go right in that inner corner and brighten this up because it is looking dark. And right here, I'm going to go right in the inner corner and just tap, 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 tap. Press it in. I feel like my skin does look good. I know I keep applying like lots of product. I need to balance this out though. I need to bring the heavier concealer down the center, but I do like the way my skin looks right now. I feel like this foundation is handling things on top of it pretty dang well. So let's take Anastasia and just 
slightly brighten this part up because it needs to just balance, you know? It needs to balance itself out. Yeah, it just looks better balancing us out. This is the Givenchy Prism Libre. I think I've talked about this before um, on my channel, but it's a new powder I've been using and I've been really loving it. I got the shade number one, which probably wasn't the shade for me, but that's the shade I got a long time ago and I've just stuck with it. So I'm going to set my makeup with this. First, we'll do under eyes. I love powder. Powder just makes it or breaks it. Like you can either save a foundation or it's gonna go south. All right, I'm gonna take this It Cosmetics huge powder brush, mix it in the cap, and we're just gonna set everything in place. Normally I don't buff, but this is such a fluffy brush that I feel like I can get away with like both. A little pressing, a little buffing. Everything looks pretty good. Especially the, the foundation, just, it's doing good. It's really working. Okay, let's go into bronzers. So we have the new Physicians Formula Bread and Butter Bronzers. This is the limited edition, so these are limited edition, a fresh baked bread inspired bronzer infused with proprietary blend to deliver a rich radiant glow. Incredibly creamy, soft texture combines the best features of a powder and cream bronzer for a lit from within glow. I love Physicians Formula. Love it, love their face products. I always usually have a good result with their powders. But I'm gonna go in with Toasty and I'm gonna bronze with this. This is super powdery. Woo! Oh my. All right, it is powdery, but it is noise. Like, I don't know what they put in here. Like, I love that. Just be sure you tap off the excess. I do like that. I, I like it. It's not like super warm. It's not super ashy. Like It's not too cool. It's not too warm. It's like right in the middle. And I, I like that. I think it looks really good so far. And then I am going to go in just a tiny bit with this Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Face and Eye Bronzer. And I want to contour my nose a little bit. So I think I'm going to take the second to lightest contour shade and see what that looks like. Because I haven't really played with this much either. I'm a little nervous. It's actually really good. It's working out. A little under here. Then I'm gonna take a smaller brush, or just a brush like this. I feel like if you're gonna get this palette, you need a brush like this from Patrick Ta, yeah. Cause it'll fit perfectly in there. And then you could just carve out your face. This is a really good brush. And then I kinda wanna do just a tiny bit of a contour like right here. And then I wanna use this light shade as a highlight. So we're gonna have to get a blush first. So I'm either feeling a poppy blush or something really easy, but both are from Mari, makeup by Mario. So we have Desert Rose and then we have Poppy Pink, I believe. I'm kind of gravitating towards Poppy Pink. It's very bold, but I love it. So we're just gonna pop this on, maybe a little bit on that apple, mostly towards the back. Yeah, that's pretty. I love that blush. It's like a bold color. You can either get really crazy with it and make it like a really pretty flush on your cheeks or you can just add a little bit and it gives like a healthy look to the skin, like a healthy glow. I'm going to take this lighter shade in the Fenty palette. I haven't used it on its own. I used it in conjunction with other things when I filmed my haul. That's pretty. It's actually really pretty. I, I like that a lot. Very glowy, but it's like smooth. I'm trying to just like buff it. So it's like a soft glow, not nothing crazy. I love that as a highlight. Well, so far I do like this. I, I think I would use it more, like definitely these for eyeshadow than I would face, but you can definitely still use it for face. All right, I'm gonna quickly do my brows. Now I'm going to apply the highlight that I used and I'm going to use that on my brow. Kind of bring it together. I'm ready to set it in place. And I'm also going to do this in the inner corner. This is such a pretty color. I'm using that highlight from the Fenty palette. Now I'm going to apply mascara, lashes, and then we'll come back and finish off this look because I feel like it's coming together. You know, I have to say, I didn't have a lot of faith in myself and I kind of regret it because I'm liking this look. I did add lashes. I used Lay Lashes in Randy, like one of my favorite styles ever. And then I'm going to take a brown liner and I'm actually just going to line my upper waterline. I need something because I don't know when I'm looking, I don't know if you guys can tell when I'm looking like straight, you can see a little bit of lid underneath there. And if you just line your waterline for the upper lash line, it'll make everything look much fuller. Uh, even if you don't have false lashes on, if you're just doing mascara, it'll make your lashes look fuller at the base, more volumized. We all love that. So I'm going to 
take a brown. I think I'm just going to take this color pop. All right, we're going to pop that on. So it looks a little bit fuller at the base. I'm going to do a little bit on here and kind of take it up. I'm going to take flawed and odd. This one first. I think I'm just going to fluff this underneath my lower lash line and mix it with that brown. And then we take a little bit of no joke, which is that yellow. And just keep going. So flawed and odd first which is like that little orangey kind of color, orange yellow. Going to add a mascara to my lower lash line. Now we're gonna do lips. I'm gonna take Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. This is the Gucci Liquid Matte Lip Color Transfer Proof in the shade Cornelia Pink. I think that's what it says. This is new, I got this in the Sephora Cell 2. This was like my second haul, but this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. Ooh. I like that color. It's like a thin formula, but matte. We're gonna take Kylie Cosmetics low key in the middle here to give it a little something something. I'm gonna take on top of that a gloss. I'm gonna do the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is shade Ice. Mm, these glosses are good, good glosses. Time to fix the hair. Make it look a little bit more presentable or just like brush it, something. A little bit of this. Get it. It is so good, you guys. Okay, perfect hair day advanced clean dry shampoo. Now I'm going in with this nourishing hair oil. I love this stuff. It smells so good. I took like three half squirts. You could probably just use one. Rub it really well and warm it up. It smells delicious. And then I go through my hair and I just really tame it all. And then I go through my ends up here. Then I do take it up here as well. Okay guys, so that is it for this makeup look. I feel like this video was kind of like a roller coaster. It was like, this is going well, this is not going well, it's going well. And honestly, at the end of the day, I do like the way that this turned out. And I feel like adding the glitter on top of the yellow is what did it for me. I'm still happy with how everything turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.